Question 230 of leak code, cave smallest element in a BST. So given the root of a binary search tree and an integer k, return the cave smallest value of all the values of the nodes in the tree. In the first example, we have a BST right here, binary search tree. We have a cave value equal to one and the output is one. In the second example, we have another BST, the output or k is equal to three and the output is also three. So let's dive into these examples and try and work out what this question's looking for. So here we're looking for the cave smallest value. And the smallest value is one. Now remember the smallest value one indexed. So that just means that one is the starting point. Okay. So if it says the first smallest value, that means index of zero within the BST. So within this binary search tree, well, the really important part to consider is that this is a binary search tree. And what is unique about a binary search tree, that is that each element or each node within the tree is in order. So the left value is always less than the root and the right value is always greater than the root. So we can use this to our advantage and we can use an in order traversal method of this BST. And what that's going to give us is it's going to go down from the root. It's going to go down left. It's going to go down left again. This is pointing to null. So it's going to add this into the order Then it's going to go right. Then it's going to go to the root and then it's going to go right. So we now have the BST within an array and it's completely ordered. So that's the first step of the solution, right? Just convert it into an array using in order traversal. And then what can we do with this? Well, we can just do a loop and loop through this and find where the index is equal to K minus one, because the first value right here is the smallest value. And we're going to have to get K minus one because this is at index zero. And that's the second part of the solution. So that will just return the answer that we want. Let's have a look at the second example. So K here is equal to three. So we need to find the third smallest node within this binary search tree. And if we do the in order traversal again, what we have is the left side. So we go down all the way to the left one. We do the root of that, which is two. We look right, there's nothing there. So we go up and we go to the root of that one, which is three. We go right, which is four. Then we go to the root of that one, which is five. And then we go right, which is six. So the in order traversal has given us this. Now what we need to do is we need to loop through this array and we need to find k minus one index and we want to find k minus one so we want to find two so we loop through this array and we find two and that is the answer that we are going to be returning okay so let's write this out let's declare a variable called r which is going to contain the in order traversal of this binary search tree let's create that function so within the in order function that we're going to be creating, we pass in the root and we pass in R because we want to be updating R and we want to be traversing the tree. So we have to pass in root. So let's write this in order function. So we pass in root and R. Root is undefined. Then we return and carry on the traversal to other nodes. So in order root dot left are so the first step is to traverse down the left side because remember in order traversal is left root right we push in our root dot val and then we do in order traversal of the right side and this will recursively fill out this array here now we just need to create another function let's call it find kth passing the array that we just created and passing k and then let's create this function So as we said, we need to loop through the entire array. And we need to specify if i is equal to k minus one. Remember it's the first indexed value. So we need to specify if i is equal to k minus one. And then if it is, then we can return the value at r. And then lastly, we just need to return this function here. Let's give this a go. Okay, it's been accepted, let's submit it. And there you have it. 